So do you know that what you want is in between your ears? That's right. I'm talking about your mind. Your brain is what is creating your success or your demise. So if you want to become empowered in your business or your life, stay tuned to this next episode of La Dolce Vita, the formula for fabulous living. Frankie Lee, dimmi, quale senza della vita? The meaning of life is to live la dolce vita, which is the formula for fabulous living. Hi, my name is Heather Picken, and welcome to the La Dolce Vita Show, the formula for fabulous living. I'm the catalyst in helping you to be more confident, create your dream business, and attract elite clients, and live a fabulous life. Here's Heather, helping you to upgrade your life to fabulous. Upgrade your life to fabulous, right, Frankie? You're fabulous. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of La Dolce Vita, the formula for fabulous living. I'm so excited to talk about uh, today's topic, which is all about success starting in your mind first. And I'm going to share uh, some recent case studies with clients that I've worked with. I'm excited about that. Uh, you may have wondered, wondered, can't even talk. Uh, what has happened to the show? Like, how come you haven't recorded some episodes lately, Heather? <laughs> well, I have a very good excuse. The excuse is I am building my La Doja Video studio, um, studio den office. I don't know what the heck I'm calling it. Uh, downstairs. So as we speak, hopefully you can't hear the pounding. They're laying down the floor. So you're going to see if you're watching me on video, if you go over to heatherpicken.com, you can find the episode and uh, watch me over there um, when my new studio uh, is completed. So if you're watching this right now, you see uh, some bookcases behind me. Not the best lighting, but that's okay because you know what? The message is the most important thing in my opinion. So let's talk about today about how success starts in your mind first. I'm so excited to talk about this. I could talk about this literally all day long. Okay. So if we were to go out for coffee, this is what we'd be talking about. This really inspires me the most. Why does this inspire me? Well, if you don't have a copy, which I encourage, yes, plug for my book. Uh, I'm going to shamelessly plug my book. You know why? Because my book is really going to help you. Um, I'm on a mission. I really am on a mission to empower women all over the world to help them, not only in their business, but every area of your life. So maybe if you're not an entrepreneur and you're listening or watching to this, this book can help you. So this is the La Dolce Vita formula. If you're listening to this or watching this, I've got a sweet deal, sweet deal, but you can only get this deal and it's time sensitive. If you email me, uh, heather at heatherpicken.com and that's spelled P-I-C-K-E-N, picken rhymes with chicken. Uh, I know I like to be a little funny. Um, I'm going to give you this book on for, uh, ten dollars plus shipping normally it's 20 so you save five dollars why why am i doing that i have an agenda oh, actually i've got a first edition print that there's a few typos in it but um it really is uh, a very well written book in my again it's my opinion right i have a right to my opinion and uh i'm gonna give you literally it's it's like getting five dollars off but you got to get the special link so you get it for 15 and 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 fun fact, it's an autographed, autographed, I can't even talk, autographed, yeah, an autographed copy, um, say that five, ten times fast. Sometimes I, I talk so fast, I flub over my words, but you know what, that's just me. But anyways, uh, Heather at heatherpicket.com, say, hey, in the subject line, put uh, the La Dolce Vita formula, $5 off, okay? I'll send you an autographed copy, see, I said it right of my book um, and uh, there you go there you go you can have this okay enough of that let's get into today into today's 
topic. And I will say this, I do go in great detail in my book uh, about the mindset. I've dedicated an entire chapter on that. And I want to talk about uh, a recent case study. I love sharing client success stories uh, because I, I love when people get wins. I love it. I just love it. So anyways, um, you may or may not know, but I do work with fabulous men. Um, I primarily work with women, but when I, when I get emails from men and they say, I see that you work with mostly women, do you work with men? I said, absolutely. If you're aligned and you're fabulous, I will absolutely work with you. So anyways, I'm working with this client. He got his real estate license, so he's brand new to the business, very excited, and he wanted to hire me privately, and he's like, can you help me? I said, absolutely. Uh, now, this is interesting because this came from a referral um, across the world. <laughs> uh, I, I love when I get referrals, um, and so I got connected with him. It's a long story. I'm not going to go into it, but anyways, um, one of the very first things that I was helping him to do, and this is exactly what I take clients through, is getting clear on their vision. If you're not clear on your vision, not just for your business, but any area of your life, I'm going to tell you that's where you attract your chaos. And so we got clear. I started to help him to build his, what I call the La Dolce Vita vision statement. And I do go into my book. Yes, shameless plug for my book. <laughs> you might say, wow, that Heather Pickin, she's just plugging her book on her show. Absolutely. You know why? Because I can. And you know why? Because I'm a woman on a mission. And I believe every woman needs to have this book that wants to be a leader in their life. I, I just am that passionate about it. But anyways, we created his vision. We got crystal clear. Now, another thing that I do when I sit down with clients is I assess their highest personal values. Now, why is that important to you? Well, you have to realize that, you know, everyone on this planet has a different way in how they see the world. They have different priorities that they're inspired to take action on. And no two people on the planet see the world in the same way. It's a fingerprint specific way of how you're taking action. Um, and it's important, when, especially when you're setting goals, okay? I find a lot of people don't know how to set goals um, that are aligned with who they are, and then they set themselves up for failure. I don't want that to happen to you, okay? So with this client, one of the first things that we did is we assessed his highest personal values, okay? And you live by your top three, and that's how you want to set goals. Number two, we got clear on your vision. And that formula is, what do you want to do? What do you want to be? What do you want to have? In this particular case, he had several businesses. But what I like to do is I like to dial it back and focus on one vision statement at a time. Why? Because if you're focusing on 50 million things, it's going to be all over the place. So I highly recommend that you create a vision statement, your La Dolce Vita vision, that is aligned with your three highest personal values. So take your highest three, and then you focus on the vision statement. So in the area of his vocation, which encompasses business, or if you have a career, that's what we focused on. And we started creating that statement. And I said, listen, this is going to evolve over time. The entire time that we work together, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna change it because you're gonna evolve. You're gonna see yourself thinking differently. And one of the things that we did was we were focusing on, after we got into what that looked like, um, we did talk a little bit about marketing, but not much. More importantly, we talked about his mindset and how I wanted to recondition his mind and how he was starting his day. So one of the things that you want to focus on in the morning is you don't want to just pick up your phone and start doing email triage, okay? I know, I've been guilty of that. And so what I do every single morning is I read my La Dolce Vita vision statement. I actually have, for those of you that are watching on um, the video over on my blog or YouTube channel, I've got the La Dolce Vita planner. Um, it actually goes with the book. And if you can see, if you're watching the video, it's, it's kind of messy. Yes, I've got doctor's handwriting. <laughs> There's my vision statement. But it's, it's literally one paragraph. Okay, so maybe you're watching, reading, or writing down pages. I want you to drill it down to one page, okay? One page, you're going to have many rewrites, and I, I read this every day. So I actually have a copy on my phone, 
and then I read it. I can take a picture on my phone and just read it if I don't have my book. And so what I, what that does for me, it inspires me. This is the key. It inspires me because it's aligned with my highest personal values. It inspires me to take action to work on the vision, right? It, it gets me everything that I do every single day gets me closer to my overall goal, okay, that is aligned with who I am. I have many overall goals that are big and juicy, but what you want to start thinking is that, you know, create your vision statement of things that you can do every single day, and you might chunk it down, but you also want to have a bigger goal that you're going to do between now and the rest of your life, okay? So there's many steps involved when you're thinking about building this. Why is this important? This is important because if you just do marketing alone, like let's just say you're building some shiny marketing funnel and, and I teach people how to build marketing funnels, but I don't like teaching that. You know why? Because that's not what really gets you results. What gets you results is getting clear on your vision. What gets you results is reprogramming your mind for success. Now, here's what I love about brain science and what we know today is that the brain is neuroplastic, meaning you can change and reorganize how you think about yourself and why is that important? Well, it's important because if you're thinking differently, you're going to see yourself differently. And everything that you want is created by how you see yourself. Now, if you've read the book uh, Dr. by Dr. Maxwell Maltz, uh, Psycho-Cybernetics, he talks about the self-image. Actually, I believe he was one of the first people that uh, was revolutionary in his ideas about the self-image, and it just took off. Uh, but what was interesting in the book, he, he did like these plastic surgeries. Let's, people went to him and said, hey, and I'm just paraphrasing this, really. They said, hey, I'm ugly. You know, they thought they were ugly make me beautiful. They got the surgeries. They were beautiful, right? And they saw themselves when they looked in the mirror, they still saw an ugly person. So what does that tell you? It tells you that if you don't recondition your mind, if you don't see yourself successful, then you'll never take the action and you'll never get there. So that is why I have dedicated my life in studying human potential, understanding neuroscience and the neuroplasticity of the brain so that I can get my clients the results they want. You know, it's interesting because, you know, I've been teaching the marketing and that sort of thing. And not, not to say you don't need a marketing plan. You absolutely do. But I just got bored. I, I really got bored. And I found that my success was not as great when I was just teaching the marketing alone. My success started to soar when I focused, and again, I focused on my highest personal values, and one of them being my mindset, which is related to business and how I want to put my mission out there in the world. Um, that's what inspires me. And so there is a distinct advantage with, that my clients get than someone just going to a marketing person. Okay, I, I don't like teaching marketing, so don't tell me, don't ask me to teach it. Uh, but again, not that I won't give people help on that. I, I work with elite clients on, on creating their marketing plan, but I want to make a point, and it's this, is if you truly recondition your mind every single day, you get into the habit where you have a routine and you start seeing yourself successful, you're going to attract success. So let's go back to that client. So I have been working with him less than seven days. He got leads and I believe two listings. There might be a third one. How is that possible? How is that possible? Well, he's creating a vision that is aligned with him and he's taking the action on it. Actually, one of the things he said, he got quote unquote out of the blue. And so I love when things happen that way. Why is that happening? Well, He's, what I'm doing is I'm setting him up for success. I have a specific routine that works for him on um, that. I am sharing, you know, how to do that, you know? So every day he wakes up and he follows it, right? So he goes through his mindset routine. He goes through some strategical things of planning for his day and he's following through. And that's why I love working with entrepreneurs, whether you're a fabulous female or you're a man. Uh, on how to reprogram your mind for success because it does start in your mind. I, I guarantee you it. I, I guarantee 
if you've ever set goals in the past and you're like, hmm, how did that work out? I can tell you it happened because you saw yourself doing it and then you took the action. And I'm kind of, you know, kind of compounding it or just, you know, making it kind of like, okay, here, here's what it really looks like. There are, are more steps involved, but if you just keep it simple, just keep it simple. And changing your morning routine to start focusing on seeing yourself successful, writing down your La Dolce Vita vision statement, what I want to do, what I want to be, what I want to have. Um, I do have a, a free training. If you go over to three day sweet life challenge.com, that's the number three day sweet life challenge.com. You click on that link and that will take you over to a page where you just put your email, your name and your email. And it's a three day video training and that will get you uh, acclimated to the process that I use with my clients. And so you want to read your vision statement every day. I, I cannot tell you how important it is, but most people don't do it. And then they're wondering why their pipeline has dried up. They're wondering why they're attracting crappy clients. Those crappy clients, let me tell you, they're there to get you to pay attention to your vision, right? What do you really want? right? And so if you have a pattern of always beating yourself up, attracting chaos, realize it's necessary for you to get clear on your vision. Don't beat yourself up. Trust me, we've all been there. I know I've been there attracting chaos because I wasn't clear. And so that's why I can say with authority that this works. It works 100% of the time, not just some of the time. You've got to follow the formula. You've got to recondition your mind. Your mind, once you start reprogramming it for success, you're not going to want to stop. And if you do, let's just say if you have a day where you don't do it, you're going to notice a distinct difference. So when I'm working with my elite clients, um, one of the things that I really find that sets me apart from other coaches or consultants um, is obviously they're, they're paying more money to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. But I keep in touch with them every day to make sure that they're doing that. I know it sounds simple, but it's so important because they have that accountability and they're actually taking the steps and they're like, I have no idea how this is happening other, but it's happening. So anyways, I hope this inspires you to start seeing yourself as a leader. I want you to see yourself as a thought leader in your business. I don't care what industry you have. If you don't see yourself as a leader, then no one else will. You've got to value yourself. You've got to get clear on your vision and mission. You have to feel inspired for what you do. And will there be challenges? Absolutely. You've got to navigate around those challenges because if you take on challenges and they, and they grow and they're bigger and bigger, your life will expand, your business will expand, and you will rise to the top 1%. And that is what my mission and purpose is. If you're listening to this show on iTunes or if you're listening to this over on my blog or YouTube, um, it's so important that you see yourself as that leader. And if you found the show to be helpful, please rate, review, and subscribe. You can do it on iTunes. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to that button because not only do I do videos for this show, um, I also do other videos that I've posting up all the time on Facebook and that sort of thing. So I want you to immerse yourself, immerse your mind uh, by getting into my world because I will not steer you the wrong way. That is my mission is my mission is really to help you empower you. And again, success starts in your mind first. So hope you have a great day. Go to three day sweet life challenge. The number three, pick up a copy of my book. Actually, I gave you um, the email link. You get $5 off support at heatherpiggin.com or heather at heatherpiggin.com. Either way, I will get that email. So have a fabulous day and here's to living your La Dolce Vita life. Take care. So if you found this show to be fabulous, please share with your fabulous friends, rate, review, and subscribe on YouTube and iTunes. <laughs> Wow. I'll make sure I take a beatbox lesson, right? <laughs>
or give my little chihuahua a bone. (laughs) (laughs) That's me. Fabulous.